Hello, so I am back in St. Louis and I am living with my parents again. <laughs> I'll explain in a little bit, but yes, I am back in my bedroom at my parents' house, struggling, but I'm okay. <laughs> Before you get concerned that I'm spiraling downwards again and that's why I'm living with my parents, it's actually the opposite. I think I might be at the start of an upward spiral, if you will. I don't know, I've just been feeling so much better about life lately. You guys have been feeling better about myself. I've been more healthy. I've been feeling more motivated. For instance, today, I went and I got eyelash extensions, which I have not had since probably, I don't know, 2018. Not that getting eyelashes really has anything to do with that, but I think it's just kind of like a visual sign that I'm picking myself up off the ground and I'm going up. So today I'm kind of feeling like doing a glam reset, if you will. I think since I got my lashes done, I just wanna have that feeling of like everything being done. My nails, my hair, I wanna shave, I wanna put on matching bra and panties. Like I just want to have the whole fucking vibe. And I thought, you guys should witness this. So first, I'm gonna shave. So you guys have probably heard of Athena Club before, especially because they're now available at Target nationwide. But if you haven't heard of them, they specialize in high quality self-care essentials for women. So everything from like razors to deodorant to period care, they have it all. But my personal favorites are their razors and the cloud shaving foam. Do you hear how that just glides over my leg? Seriously, these razors are so nice. They have, I think, over 10,000 five-star reviews, and it's for a good reason. So the blades are actually surrounded by a water-activated serum that contains hyaluronic acid and shea butter, so it's super moisturizing. I don't know, I'm just telling you, compared to the razor I was using before this, this one just really glides, like, I've never caught myself using this. It just glides over the skin so easily and so quickly. Also, they come in a lot of really cute colors. I opted for the rose one, which I think is just like the perfect shade of pink. The kit comes with a luxury handle, two cartridges, and a magnetic shower hook, all for $10. And let me tell you guys, this magnetic shower hook, love it. And then there's the Cloud Shave Foam, which I showed you guys earlier. This is also a favorite of mine because it is just, I spilled some. <laughs> it is so thick and creamy. I have never used a shaving cream like this before. So if you guys are interested in grabbing some Athena Club products for yourself, you can either add them to your next Target shopping list because they are available at Target now, or you can click the link in my description below. <laughs> Shaking the back of your legs is always so awkward. What, what's the method? How do you guys do this? Is, is this what everybody does? Just holding it up? Or do you stand up and like do it behind you like that? I always just <laughs> try to maneuver like this. Now that the legs are silky smooth, let's do something about this hair. The state of my hair is not the best definitely too dark. I never know how to style it correctly. I just, I have to figure it out. My hair game has been very, very weak for like the past however many years and I gotta figure out a new go-to style. So let's experiment. Let's do the whole little like, what is it? Like the Tic Tac hair theory thing where it's like, I do my hair different ways. You guys tell me which way looks best. I'm gonna smooth it out with a round brush okay. and a blitter. Okay, option one, just a simple, smooth blow dry. I mean, it's classic, it's not terrible, but I think I can do better. Also, I wanna ask you guys, do you think middle part looks best on me or side part? Which I used to always wear because I felt like it made my forehead look smaller, but now for some reason, I feel like it makes my forehead look bigger. Like the peak of it seems so much higher than when I wear it down the middle, like, you know? So now I've been wearing it down the middle. Then there's also the option of like messy, which I do love this look, 
but I don't think I have the forehead size to pull it off. I just feel like all I see is my forehead when I do this. But I've always been so jealous of those girls that just like, you'll be talking to them and they'll just constantly be doing this. You know what I mean? It's it's a look, but I just don't know if it suits me. Mm. Okay, so let's try in the middle, but with the front like kind of swirl, swirled, what am I saying? Curl, <laughs> swirled, curled to the back a bit more. Okay, sorry, my camera battery died. I want some matcha. <laughs> Are we good? Are we good? Okay, so I'm gonna take really big sections in the back and my flat iron and curl it to the back like that. Pulling it to the back. Okay, how are we feeling about this one? I think this is forever classic. It gives like supermodel and it's nice, right? Again, option of middle part with it like this. The messy part definitely suits this style more, just being very like tousled. But again, I just don't feel that this suits me at all. Also, I just like to comb this out a little bit to stop it from getting so stringy and just softening the curls up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's it. And by the way, I still haven't decided what I want to do about my hair color situation. If I could like snap my fingers and change it with no damage, I would make it more of a classic cool tone dark brown. Whereas right now it is a I would say darkest brown slash soft black with a red undertone, which I don't want. So I am torn. I think I'm gonna go to the salon and ask if they can just do a toner, touch up my roots, because my roots are now growing in and it looks a little crazy. Yeah, I don't know, maybe eventually get it lighter but i just don't want to damage my hair it was all virgin and like i want to grow it really long so i want it to stay healthy and my hair naturally is so dry so i'm just scared to like if they put a color remover on this or they just try to lift it if you're a stylist give me advice how about that yes what should i do if i want to make this just a little bit lighter and no red Hi boy. Okay, so the glam reset is almost complete. I have lashes, makeup, hair, smooth legs. The only thing I'm missing is these nails. Look at these nails. <laughs> you guys know how much I love my nails and I usually do my own gel manicures, but while I was in LA, they just all broke off. And so now this is the situation. So I think I'm gonna give my nails a little break from the gel and just do classic nail polish, which I haven't done in what feels like a million years. I'm gonna be using the Zoya in Jackie. It's a really pretty spicy red. And while I paint them, I'm going to tell you guys a little rant that I just really need to get out. So the other day, I got it into my head that I wanted to go to a nail salon here in St. Louis and treat myself to a mani-pedi. Because if you do your own nails, then you know. Sometimes you just reach a breaking point with how time consuming it is and you just want somebody else to do it for you. I was having one of those moments and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go knock this shit out in one hour and sit in a massage chair while doing so. So I go to this salon that had, you know, decent reviews or whatever. I wasn't expecting much just because I realized that you know, it's not LA and a nail salon that's right next to a Walmart in St. Louis probably isn't gonna give me the best manicure of my life. Right away, I knew the vibes were bad because this woman, nothing was sterilized. The tools were just thrown and dirty 
and then when she used them on me like i watched like i sat and waited for like 15 minutes before she started doing my nails while she was finishing up her last client and she did not use a new set of tools on me she didn't clean them she didn't take out like a little sanitized thing that she ripped open they were just sitting thrown and i was just like oh. so that was already bad then i had gel polish on my toes that i wanted to uh, have her remove and by the way the charge for something like that is i want to say it was ten dollars because uh, it's kind of time consuming to remove gel polish it takes about 15 plus minutes because you have to painstakingly like you know chip it away let it soak on an acetone chip it away soak chip away when i tell you this woman literally just used a electric file and grinded that shit all the way down to the point where my nail was paper thin i'm telling you i could bend my toenails so easily i had never experienced anything like it it almost hit my gag reflex like when i touched them they were so thin i was like Ugh. It was just the weirdest fucking thing. So at that point, I kind of wanted to walk out, but I'm so non-confrontational that I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let this woman fuck my shit up. I'm gonna pay her. I'm gonna tip her well. I'm gonna say thank you, and I'm gonna walk out and take it all off. Which spoiler is what I did. So I end up getting truly the worst mani-pedi of my entire life super thick polish messy smudge just fucking awful painfully bad right also she's like super rushed even though i had an appointment she's super rushed she's like grabbing my hand and reaching it out as i'm like still sitting in the pedicure chair like i can't it was just very 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 unprofessional and uh, that's not even the worst part of the story but like I said, I am really non-confrontational. I could literally swallow a shard of glass at a restaurant and still walk out, pay for my bill, tip, everything. I just don't like making other people uncomfortable, even if they made me uncomfortable, right? So I don't know what came over me, but the manager of like the owner of the salon was the one that checked me out. And I just was like, Hmm, I was about to cry really. Cause I was like, am I about to pay a hundred dollars for something I'm gonna go home and remove? Like this is making me feel sick to my stomach. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give him a little bit of feedback, you know, because he's a manager. He deserves to know that his nail lady is shit at her job. Not even that she's shit. She probably is decent. She just didn't care. Like she just rushed through it. She didn't care. She was like, like she um, even like upsold me to like the deluxe or the, you know, the whatever. And of course I said yes, because I just, like I said, I like, I put other people's like comfort and happiness above mine, even if it's like a perfect stranger. So I said yes. And I was like, are you sure you're gonna have time? And she's like, yeah. And so basically instead of doing like each individual step, like, you know, uh, doing the pumice thing on the bottom of your feet and doing a five minute massage and all of that, she just like flew through it. Like it was laughable. Like at one point, like the pumice was on the bottom of my foot for about three seconds. Like she wasn't even trying. And so I kind of thought the manager deserved to know. I didn't go into great detail or anything, but I was just like, hey, I just wanted to let you know that I wasn't really happy with my service today and I'm going to take my nail polish off when I get home. And he's like, oh my God, no, let us fix it for you. You know, exactly what you think the manager would say, right? Which was really great. But the problem is the woman who did my nails suddenly marches up to me and gives me the dirtiest look. And I'm like, I'm sorry, bitch. Look at these nails. You know, you did a bad job. Are you shocked that I'm complaining to the manager? Are you shocked? You shouldn't be. You should be putting more effort into your work. And it's like, in that moment, it's like, yep, this is exactly why I'm non-confrontational. Because in that moment, I wanted to fucking die, you guys. I literally wanted to run and hide. I, I, was, I, I was feeling many emotions and I, I was just so uncomfortable. Anyway, that's my story. And I forgot how hard it is to do regular nail polish. It just dries so damn fast. Good enough.
Okay, so earlier I just casually brushed over the fact that I am back living with my parents and you guys know like a few videos ago how I was deliberating selling my house, moving to LA. I was feeling very conflicted because I just felt like I wasn't happy in my house. My intuition was telling me that that's not where I'm supposed to be. So I went to LA, I spent 10 days there when I was getting my teeth done, which by the way, my teeth are not still um, done. These are still my temporaries. Um, yeah, went to LA, did a vibe check and confirmed that indeed I do want to move to LA. So I sold my house. I know it's crazy. And actually I broke completely even. I didn't lose any money, which was my conditions for selling it. Basically I said that if I could sell it and not lose any money, I would take it as a sign that like I should go. But if it was going to come down to like, I could only get an offer that was, you know, maybe like 20,000 under what I paid because I thought maybe that was the case because the market is not very great right now with how, how high um, interest rates are. But nope, I sold it and I sold it very fast. So I'm moving in like 30 hours <laughs> really soon. So all my stuff has been shipped. I've signed a lease, like just everything is done except for my body being there it's exciting it's exciting and it's scary because it's you know uncertainty the future feels uncertain but honestly i kind of love that because being here my future just felt very certain and i know a lot of you guys expressed to me because a lot of you did not you were anti me moving to la which i get but uh, a lot of people are like you can have an exciting life in st louis you're just not trying and you're right i'm not trying but it's not coming naturally to me. Like I just, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right, you know? Like I don't, when I was in LA for those 10 days, it felt like home. Cause I spent the majority of my twenties I spent in LA and I just felt like I haven't been here since I was 21. So I, I just don't identify with St. Louis as much or something, I don't know. But yeah, I'm coming. So next video will probably be like an apartment tour or something. I don't even know. 